And we start with what was a wet day yesterday. Nina, this was your friend's video, right? Over in yes, Bend yesterday. Downtown Bend. Yeah. Flooding the sidewalks. Well, that is a doorway to a business that people just couldn't even get through. Tons of rain yesterday. That was Nina Melhoff reporting. Thank you. <laughs> they had, no, that really tells the story, right? Um, they had numerous thunderstorms in Central Oregon yesterday. There were big ones. We had at one point yesterday, late afternoon, there was a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, up around Timothy Lake in the Mount Hood area. At that time, the Weather Service believed there was half dollar size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. We had uh, a thunderstorm last evening that moved in the PDX vicinity. We had reports of thunder from that storm in North Portland. So it did turn out to be kind of a rock and roll day overall. Right now, earlier this morning, there was still some lightning up in Seattle, but otherwise things have really quieted down. We have a heavy rain pocket right there up around Astoria and the, uh, the mouth of the Columbia River. Uh, and then we have showers that have started to increase uh, coming from south to north up and down I-5. There you see it's wet down at uh, Stoller Family Vineyard State in Dayton for some recently passed showers. 55 degrees is the temperature there. Astoria also 55. Salem's holding at 60. Portland 62. By the way, I buried one of the big stories. 81 yesterday at PDX. First time we've done that um, so far this year. So today we have passing showers. Here's showers at 8 o'clock. There's more dry time than wet time today. No doubt about that. And then coming up in just a moment, in about another eight minutes, we'll get into the rainy uh, future cast for tomorrow and especially tomorrow evening for the Starlight Parade. But overall, 71 today. Rainy weekend still expected. Mid-60s. And then we dry out 83 next Thursday. That's your forecast for now.